Hey guys, lovers, and welcome back to another video. In honor of Mother's Day, we'll be appreciating motherhood in the cat world. Mother cats are particularly fascinating and embody some incredible maternal traits. While they may not be motherly in all the ways that we recognize, wait until you hear number seven, they raise their kittens in unique and captivating ways. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to our channel for more cat videos. Now let's discuss 10 of the most incredible facts about mother cats. Number one, their kittens can have multiple fathers. We have mentioned this fact on the channel before, so if you've been a subscriber for a while, sorry for the repeated information. But this fact is too relevant to the subject to leave out. Believe it or not, kittens in the same litter can have multiple different fathers. While it sounds mind-boggling, this phenomenon, which is called superfecundation, can easily be explained through biology. Cats become sexually mature around four months old, meaning they are able to mate around that time. Female cats go into heat several times a year. Heat refers to a period of time in which a female cat is actively seeking to mate. They are also more fertile during this period of time. As a quick bonus fact, a cat's breeding season can depend on its location. More specifically, it depends on the number of daylight hours. Cats in the northern hemisphere typically have a breeding season of January to October. Cats near the equator, on the other hand, have a year-round breeding season. This is because daylight hours vary less throughout the year in regions closer to the equator. Cats are known as seasonally polyethylene meaning they experience multiple periods of heat per breeding season. Each period of heat lasts around one to two weeks. So how does this relate to the fact in question? Well, if a female cat mates with multiple other cats during a single heat period, kittens can have different fathers. Once an egg is released from the ovaries, it takes around two days for it to travel through the fallopian tubes and implant itself in the uterus. This prolonged period allows multiple eggs to be fertilized by multiple fathers. So a mother cat's litter can look very interesting depending on how many mates she bred with during the heat period that resulted in her pregnancy. It also means that kittens born at the same time might genetically be half-siblings rather than full siblings. Say what? Number two, they can give birth days apart. Not only can kittens in the same litter be half-siblings, but they can also have different birthdays. Mother cats can be in labor for over 24 hours, giving birth to kittens in the same litter over multiple days. This is because mother cats can put a pause on their labor. When a mother cat goes into labor, she typically births a kitten every 15 minutes to 2 hours. However, she can pause her labor for 24 to 36 hours, or even longer. She may take a break during labor for a variety of reasons. For example, if her labor is particularly difficult, she may pause just to take a break. Mother cats that are birthing their first litters are particularly prone to pausing their labors to take a rest. Just to be clear, interrupted labor is fairly rare, but it can happen. Number 3. A mother cat is a queen. A female cat that is experiencing heat, is pregnant, or undergoing labor is referred to as a queen. As hard as it may be to believe, this term is not actually because of the elegant or aristocratic attitude of female cats. Instead, it is derived from the term queening, which describes the time in which a cat is experiencing labor. However, mother cats are so amazing that the name can also be interpreted in the royal sense of the word. So one could argue that the term now has a double meaning. After all, mother cats are queens in all senses of the word. Number 4 they have special ways of communicating with their kittens. Mother cats are very in tune with their kittens. They even have a special noise that they make to communicate specifically with their young. This noise is unique to every mother cat and is typically a chirping or chattering noise. With that said, mother cats can be frequently observed communicating with their kittens. She may make noise to let her kittens know where she is or where to go. She will also use the noise to alert her kittens when it's time to eat. It can be fascinating and endearing to listen to a mother cat communicate with her kittens. Sometimes it may be startling to hear a mother cat growling at her kittens. However, she is just parenting. It's not uncommon for a mother cat to growl at her kittens to discipline them. Usually, this behavior is nothing to worry about. Also, kittens will often communicate with their mother cat. They will make adorable mews to let their mother know that they are hungry or if they need something else. Number 5 mother cats purr while giving birth. Yes, you heard that right, mother cats will sometimes purr while giving birth. This can be surprising as purrs are typically associated with relaxation and happiness while labor is often associated with the opposite. Since labor is very painful and difficult to endure, why do mother cats sometimes purr during the process? The answer is that cats will purr when they are in pain or stressful situations like labor as a self-soothing technique. It is thought that the vibrations of purring are soothing and help relax the mother cat as she endures labor. Some additional research suggests that they may purr to relieve the physical pain that they are experiencing. Purrs are thought to have some healing qualities due to the frequencies that they are emitted. Purrs are typically 25 to 50 hertz, and these frequencies have been shown to aid in bone and tissue healing in humans. So while it's not proven, some researchers think that cats may purr to reduce their pain. Regardless, it's fascinating to observe a cat purring during labor. Number 6. Mother cats help their kittens learn about the world. 
When kittens are first born, they are very vulnerable. Kittens' eyes don't typically open until they are around two weeks old. They also aren't able to fully and properly orient themselves in the world around them based on their hearing. They are still learning how to move and how to function in the world. Therefore, the mother's role is very important during these first few weeks of her kitten's lives. Kittens become particularly curious and begin to explore the world when they are around three weeks old. The mother cat aids them during this process, helping them to navigate and making sure they don't go too far. She can always call them back through the sounds mentioned in fact number four. Mother cats are great at easing their young into the real world by keeping them safe and protected while they learn about their surroundings. In this way, mother cats are excellent at raising their kittens into successful, smart adult cats. Number seven, mother cats can get messy. I'm warning you now that this fact is probably the grossest on our list, but it's also one of the most fascinating. Mother cats will eat their kittens, feces, and urine during the first weeks of their lives. While this may sound disgusting, it is actually for a good reason. In the very first stages of life, kittens have trouble going to the bathroom. While grooming her kittens, the mother cat will lick their bottoms to help them go. During this process, she may consume feces or urine. This process is called anogenital grooming. When kittens can finally go on their own, but aren't yet litter trained, they urinate and defecate everywhere. Needless to say, it can get very messy. So the mother cat eats their feces and urine to help keep them clean. There's also an interesting theory that mother cats will eat their kittens' feces and urine to protect them from predators. By eating the kitten's waste, the mother cat makes it more difficult for potential predators to track them based on their scents. Mother cats may eat their kittens' waste for up to six weeks after they are born. Since domesticated cats no longer encounter predators like their ancestors, this evolutionary behavior was likely inherited. Number 8. They have varying numbers of nipples. All mammals have nipples, except for the platypus and the echidna, but not all mammals have the same amount of nipples. A shrewish short-haired opossum was recorded to have 27 nipples, but I digress. It turns out that mother cats have varying numbers of nipples, unlike humans who have two. Female cats have 2 to 10 nipples. The number varies from cat to cat, but the average number of nipples is 6. Additionally, the number of nipples does not have to be even. While many biological features are observed to be symmetrical, think eyes or whiskers, nipples don't have to be. The placement of a cat's nipples does not have to mirror each other from the left to the right side of the cat's stomach. Mother cats usually birth litters of four, but they can give birth to even more than that. They must have enough nipples to feed all of their kittens. There is no known reason why different cats have different numbers of nipples. It doesn't seem to be dependent on breed or gender. Like any other physical feature of a cat, the number of nipples is determined by genetics. Interestingly, kittens of the same litter may be born with different amounts of nipples. However, once they are born, their numbers of nipples will not change. The amount of nipples that a kitten is born with is the amount of nipples that it will die with. Number 9. Mother Cats Can Adopt Other Kittens Mother cats are not only great mothers to their own young, but they can be to other kittens as well. Cats that have recently given birth tend to be very maternal, so it's possible to introduce kittens that aren't theirs into their litter. Mother cats will often accept other kittens into their litter as their own. She will feed and nurture this kitten even though it isn't hers. This means that orphaned kittens may still have the opportunity to have a mother if they are introduced into a litter fast enough. Fascinatingly, mother cats can even adopt babies that aren't even kittens. They have adorably been recorded adopting baby squirrels, rabbits, puppies, and other animals. It turns out that the maternal instincts of mother cats has no limits. Number 10. They can go into heat while nursing. The reproductive cycle of a mother cat moves fast. Even while she is still nursing her most recent litter, she can go into heat. This means she can get pregnant while she's still nursing. Technically speaking, a female cat can get pregnant five times a year. As a result, she can birth an incredible amount of kittens in her lifetime. For example, a cat named Dusty from Texas holds the known record for the most kittens birthed at 420. This fact, combined with all the other incredible facts we've discussed, showcases just how amazing mother cats are. Well, there you have it. We hope you learned some new things about feline moms that make you appreciate all their hard work even more. But just for the record, mothers of all species, including human moms, are truly incredible and deserve all the credit in the world. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Catterday for another video.